right. So it's called um, signed integers, faster and corrector. Um, it's about, well, uh, I came to see lightning talks here last year. And John Kalb gave a great talk about unsigned. He was uh, mostly talking about the, the correctness and uh, safety of sticking with signed integers. Um, uh, Chandler Kruth also gave a great talk and uh, it, it touched upon uh, uh, how uh, uh, unsigned integers aren't always the, the fastest. Um, but also, there's this guy, Christo Wolfordson. Uh, he was on CPPcast uh, a few months ago. Uh, he writes a, a great uh, blog talking about uh, GCC um, optimization. It's, uh, it's a great read. And in particular, there's this one article that just goes through a bunch of ways in which signed integers can exploit undefined behavior to write um, faster, more optimized, simpler, more terse code. <laughs> And it kind of uh, blew my mind, so I thought I'd, sh I, I'd, uh, I'd uh, share it with you. I also um, I've been trying to persuade other people, um, colleagues, people on, uh, on the Slack channel that you know, signed is faster and it's uh, difficult to persuade people. It's generally difficult to persuade people of things. And so I'm not going to try. I'm just, I just want to share these cool optimizations. But I will have a quick rant about you know, undefined behavior contracts that kind of thing, um, because it is a fundamentally diff difficult thing to explain to people. Uh, contracts, because they have more than one human in them, are necessarily a complicated thing. Um, and when people talk about contracts, you know, which, which bit of this line do you think I'm going to bring up here, uh, really? The, the const uh, keyword. Um, now, I've got a question for you. Is const liberating, or is it restrictive? Which is it? Both. Both, right. Well, it depends. Um, if you are implementing this function, it's restrictive. And if you're the user of this function, it's liberating. And so what happens if we turn the tables on the user and force them to be the ones that observe const? Well, suddenly when they do you know, bad things, nobody feels like I don't think anybody would feel too sorry for the, right, the author of this code if something bad happened as a result of them doing this constcast. Um, uh, is there really any difference when you um, uh, cause undefined behavior because you used a signed integer rather than an unsigned integer? Well, uh, um, I don't know. I, I, I've tried um, arguing with people, and of course, um, uh, there's there's a certain point at which you just figure you try and plant a seed in somebody's head and walk away because it, sometimes it takes a long time to get people to come around to your way of thinking. Maybe if, uh, if they're about to buy a car and it has zero miles on the clock, perhaps you could uh, persuade them that unsigned is not the, you know, wrap around is not the best way to go about things. And here, there's, there's reasons why unsigned having defined behavior perhaps isn't such a great thing after all. Anyway, if you're arguing, you're losing. So, uh, so let me just show you some um, compiler explorer stuff. Um, so these are some of the uh, examples that, uh, that, were, um, that I found on this blog. And this one is probably not that surprising. Well, you know, if you, if you increase a signed integer, it's bigger. Um, that's not the case with unsigned. Here, I'm, on the left, we have uh, what the code looks like if t is a signed integer. And on the right, we have what um, the code looks like if t is unsigned. And here, it's a little bit simpler because we know that you know, if you add a positive number to another positive number, you get a bigger number, right? Well, not the case with unsigned. So you have to do extra checks to make sure that number isn't now very, very low. Um, OK, this, one, this one's pretty good. Uh, this is pretty extreme, actually. I mean, I am cherry picking uh, some, some of these examples, for sure. But here, again, if you multiply x by you know, a number, and then you divide it by a smaller number, well, you're going to end up with something that was bigger than x to begin with. And uh, in this case, 14 divided by 7 is is two, and, and so there's a, 
uh, basically something that, a hacky way to double the value. So just, wow, five minutes really isn't very long. So there are just more examples like this. And I recommend you go to this blog. He's overflowing.